Okay, so we are going to go over how to use the template project here that I set up for the physics menu. First thing you are going to want to do is download it. Click your link, go ahead and download. It might actually virus scan it because it is a pretty small file. Which it looks like it did. So once it's downloaded, you can choose to extract the files wherever you want to extract them. For now, I'm just going to I'm going to put them in my, uh, my Unreal project so it's not on my C drive. But here in the Unreal project, so I'm going to make a new folder, physics menu template. This is where it's going to extract to. I want to display the files when I'm done. So now that it's extracted, we have three fold or two folders and a U project file. You open the U project, it should automatically start creating new folders for you relating to your project. Once in the project, we have the custom physics assets. This is where you're going to put all of your assets when you add new ones. And then in the mods folder, PDV physics menu, meshes, we have accessories, lower body, and upper body. I only added in the headband, the pairs of pants that are in the menu, and the flannel, t-shirt, long shirt, and the hoodies. Oh, also... Blitz Cow's long sleeve that he yeah. sent me, and the female gears. Now, all of these look like they have materials on them. None of them do. As soon as I open this, you'll see it, it breaks. These are strictly for you to use test. Oops been opening it over here and didn't even notice so if we look at these they already have their clothing data applied to them so you don't need to do anything to them now before we get into how to use these I'm going to show you over here for this upper body we have this mesh in order to replace a custom mesh and add one into your menu, you'll need to put a mesh in here and name it with this naming convention. You have a hundred slots you can use up. So if I wanted to add in a new one, I would name it 002 or 003. Now, whenever you add one in, the material that's applied to it needs to go in the materials folder with the same number applied to it. So if I were to add one over here, that's say number, I don't know, 53, right? In the materials, I'm going to add a new material for it and it's going to need to also be 53. Now the icon will also need to match, and this icon is specifically for the menu itself to show you in the list which item you're selecting. So I will generally just take a screenshot, I'll drag the, uh, the mesh in the scene, I'll put the material on it, and then I'll, I'll do a blank background so it's one solid color and then I will literally just take a screenshot of it and I'll edit the screenshot to have a transparent background and then you'll put that in here same thing the number needs to match so let's do an example one we're going to do an upper body now something that needs to be remembered for the upper body 
is t-shirts are zero zero one through zero five zero and hoodies are zero five one through one hundred this is because of the meshes that I have for the characters for the upper body lower body will not use any mesh for the body itself so if you make something like shorts where you need legs on it you're going to need to add the legs as part of the shorts so let's add in an upper body item we'll do the uh we'll do a long hoodie right so if i wanted to if i wanted to add a custom long hoodie i would drag the hoodie into the upper body folder and choose copy not move make sure you copy it that way you always have this one here to use copy it now it's right here now you need to match your naming convention so skm underscore custom upper body and then remember hoodies are 51 through 100 so we will do 051 now i need a material for this so let's duplicate this material name it 51 and I need an icon for this. Let me just bring in any random icon real quick. What looks good for an icon? Here, let's let's do this architects thing here. This was me and Blaze's stuff. So anyways, I'm gonna copy the name. Paste it here, but remember it needs to be 5-1. Alright, so now the materials. The material itself is how your texture is going to look. Um, I'm going to add a folder, and I'm going to name it something unique, or I can just add it called Upper Body 051 so you know which one it's for. And in here, I'm going to add in, um, I don't know, a, you know, I'm going to add this, I'm going to add this texture again. This texture name does not matter, but make it something unique. So that other people aren't going to use the same name. And also so that you're not accidentally naming it something that's in game already. Because as soon as you try to import this, if this has something named in game, this is going to move out of this folder. It's going to move to the folder that it's in for the game files. So here. I'm going to open this material and what I want to do is I want to add that texture into this material here. There's there's my new texture. Um, obviously I'd want a normal and everything for this but as this is just an example I'm not going to create a normal for this. So once this is saved, the material should look like it, and we have our texture here, or sorry, our skeletal mesh here. We have skeletal mesh, we have a material, and we have an icon. So now, if I save all, I don't need to save the level though, and cook content. 
back here in our project folder, we will have a new build folder created, which is all the extra data we're compiling that we're not going to use, like all the engine content files. We go to saved. There's no cooked folder, but there is now because it's finally making it. Windows no editor, physics menu. And as soon as this is done, we'll have a content folder with our cooked content in it. So, my cook failed, and I figured out why. One thing that is needed to do that I didn't do is actually apply the material to the mesh. So, open up your mesh and navigate to your material and tell it to be on your mesh. Don't want it looking like this because it'll look like this in game. As long as you apply your material to the mesh and hit save, then hook your project. Now once the project is cooked, in our project folder we can go to saved, cooked, windows no editor, physics menu, content. Now in here, delete skeletons and mods because we don't need those. Open up custom physics assets and delete everything but the upper body we did. Obviously that'd be different if you were doing a lower body. Delete female because we didn't use that. We did not use 001, we used 051. Delete 001, and same with your material 001, and icon. Now all we have is the icon for 051, we have the material for 051, we have the texture for that material, we have the mesh 051. Going back to content, we can zip up custom physics assets, name it, architects, hoodie, I spelled that like four different ways now. Over here in session mod manager, delete my old one, I can install the new zip and run the game. And now the hoodie should be actually on my character because I was already testing it, but I'll show you in the menu as well. So because I was already testing, it's gonna pop onto my skater immediately. But in your menu, you should now have the very last item to your hoodie. So now it has the physics applied to it and your custom material, even though this material is garbage and looks like it's made of clay or something. <coughs> but that is how you add in a custom gear. That method will work for any <coughs> gear type, including the accessories and accessories can be stacked together and used not only in the physics menu simultaneously, but you can use them strictly as just the character. See if I can add an accessory to show you. I don't know if this works or not, but there we go. So I still have the accessories, but I'm using the default skater. Awesome.